hello and welcome back to the channel it has been quite a while first year has been crazy and so after all of that mess which maybe i will do a video to recap how first year went um second year has been much much better so that's why i'm going to be back on this channel a lot more and in mentioning first year I know a lot of you guys are in the application cycle right now and recently I've been looking back at all of the advice that I gave on this channel and oh gosh, um, that is a lot of advice to uh, consider. So I thought if I could only give you one advice or if I only had five minutes to say something to you, what piece of advice would I give you to summarize up all the points that I have given on this channel regarding your medical school application. And it is actually very, very simple. Two words for you. So what? Why does it matter? And this might sound harsh, but after reading a lot of medical school applications, every single time I ask them this question, and if they can't answer that question, then that means they need to go back and reconsider what they want to include. Being able to answer the question, so what, means a lot. That is how you decide whether what you are saying is adding value. And this applies across the board to every single essay that you write in your application. Just following up with yourself and seeing if you can answer that question is going to make your essays so much stronger. All right, let's walk through a few examples. Um, I'll go through this line by line and tell you guys how to apply the so what rule. And along the way, I'll also try to make some suggestions on how I would make this essay better. So the first sentence reads, I was trained by a tutoring agency to provide professional one-on-one -on -one in in-home lessons for students in my local area to prepare them for the SAT and ACT. First of all, trained by a tutoring agency and professional obviously if you are trained by a tutoring agency it is going to be a professional service so i don't think it is necessary to state that it is that you are providing a professional service second of all saying that you were trained by a tutoring agency kind of takes away from your skills and ability as an individual so i would instead say i was a part of then next we move on to one-on-one -on -one in home lessons for students my local area here i am wondering is there a specific student population that you are working with. If there is, I would definitely make sure to state that to highlight the importance of your work and why you're so interested in tutoring these students. And now we're going to move on to the second sentence. I reviewed math, science, and verbal content while also introducing test-specific strategies to help my students succeed on test day. Okay, so the first and second sentence are about their kind of what they did and their role. So I'm going to combine sentence one and two and ask the question, so what? Why does what they are doing here matter and how does it help shape them as a person? One of their contribution is uh, introducing test-specific strategies. Now, I am guessing that these are test-specific strategies that were told to them as a part of their training. I'm going to ask myself, so what? Let's see if we can answer this question after we read the rest of the essay. Third sentence reads, progressively, I saw confidence grow within both my students and my Myself. When they said, I saw confidence grow within both my students and myself, they never explained in the previous sentence or later why there was this increase in confidence. What I'm wondering here is how are they different from anyone else who were at the tutoring agency? What I want to hear from this is what did they specifically do to help their students' confidence grow rather than just following a formulaic plan that was trained to them by the tutoring agency. Here, a more valuable use of space, I think, would be to describe what this growth in confidence looks like. And he followed this line up with, my students began to take more initiative in self-directed learning, which makes me think that the growth in confidence was demonstrated by self-directed learning. But self-directed learning doesn't involve you, right? So I want to see a clear connection of how you got them to do the self-directed learning. Did you have some role in the transition to them taking a greater initiative in the self-directed learning? I want to know how. This is not something that just happens magically. And what I want to know is how their nurturing meta-perspective and constructivism helped 
the students. And then in the last sentence, going back to the roles and responsibilities again, I think they were trying to demonstrate growth while they were in this position saying, oh, now that I've mastered teaching these topics, I then graduated to teach these additional topics. I personally don't feel like that is a good way to wrap up your essay because now I am left with the same question. Like, so what? So what that you have now moved on to tutor all of these other things? Why, why, why do I care and why does it matter, right? So that question needs to be answered. Otherwise, replace the sentence with something else. So to summarize, by asking the question, so what, I am now able to create an essay that is much more meaningful and much more centered on the impact of the activity on myself and my community, which is what the activity section is all about. And I have a few more examples that I would love to walk through, but because we don't have much time right now, I will save that for another video. So if you would like to see me analyze a few more essays, please let me know in the comment section down below and I will be sure to do that for you guys. Before we end the video, I have a very exciting announcement to make. After the immense interest in the mock interview service that I piloted last year, I decided to expand our service to include help with your medical school essay writing as well. Our services are now actually on a website called Align Med Mentoring and Advising. And I'm super, super excited because this is a project that means a lot to me. I want to make medical education accessible and equitable for applicants who uh, might not otherwise have the resources to present the best version of themselves in front of medical schools. And because I was once in that spot and I felt really lost, didn't know who I could reach out to, I want to be able to have all the services in one place. So that's how Align came to be. On there, you will be able to find help with anything from your personal statement all the way down to your secondaries. And of course, we will still be offering mock interviews Views. And what makes us different is that we really put you at the center of our mentoring and advising. So we let you lead the conversation. We let you decide what you want to focus on and really tailor the experience to best fit your goals and needs. And we will always keep the story that you want to communicate in mind as we are giving you feedback and recommendations. All our services are free, but if you are able to contribute, we will greatly appreciate that and we leave that up to you to decide how much. Basically, the fee is just going to help keep our program going and for the website maintenance and things like that. And our website is currently live, so no matter what stage of the medical school app process you're in, we will try to help you out. Coming soon, we will have resources on there and opportunities that we come across, as well as how to navigate your first year if that's where you are at right now. So if you are currently in the application cycle or you know someone who is, please check out the link in the description box down below. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. Best wishes, warmest regards. Until next time, bye.